for an infinity scarf. I know there are other infinity scarf instructions already out there, but I sort of wanted to add a little bit of a different element to mine, and that is the cork or leather cuff. So I made my cuff in um, ocean blue cork. The fabric that I use for my infinity scarf is a rayon fabric. I actually use two different rayons designed by cotton and steel. And the rayon, it's not a stretchy fabric, but it just feels really sort of on the silky side and a little bit luxurious. Oh, Danny says I'm blocking my mic. All right, so I'm gonna talk for a second and then I'm gonna put the scarf back down. So um, this is just really quick to put together. No, okay. All right, my, my mic is right here. So I'll, I'll show you that scarf. Um, it's a really quick video instruction to put it together. You'll just need um, one two yard piece of fabric and uh, a little scrap of cork or leather for the cork or leather cuff. So um, here's the video tutorial to make that and enjoy. Okay, before we begin, you'll need to print out the template for the cork or leather cuff and you'll wanna open the template file using Adobe Reader. It's a free program that you can download to your computer device or if you don't already have it. And if you'll notice on the page, there's a one inch square and a four centimeter square. You'll wanna measure either of those squares to make sure that they measure exact. So I'm gonna take my quilting ruler and measure the one inch square and it needs to be exactly either one inch or four centimeters. It shouldn't be slightly smaller or slightly larger. It needs to be exact. Okay, so go ahead and cut out your pattern piece along the outside of the thick black line and when you've done so this is what it should look like so you'll use this piece to cut out from either cork or leather so I'm using cork and I'm just using one layer of fabric if you're using a really thin layer you'll want two layers instead so you'll need to cut out two and you'll glue those wrong sides together and then top stitch the outer edge to secure the layers but for the cork I'm just using the one layer Okay, if you'll notice on the pattern piece, there's markings for the female snap and the male snap. I'm gonna mark those on my fabric right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use an awl to make punches through the fabric where the holes are. You can just use a pen or whatever sharp tool that you have to make the, the holes. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this on the right side of my fabric and use a fabric marker just to mark placement for the female and the male snaps. Okay, so you can use whatever brand of snaps that you prefer. I like using the snap setter tool and then you'll need a hammer to go along with that if you're using this tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the female snaps first, which are the ones that are closest to the edge of the fabric. And the female snaps are going to be installed with the caps going through the right side of the fabric and the female portion showing on the wrong side of the fabric. So I have these caps um, and yours might have rings uh, depending on what type of snaps that you've purchased. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that cap through the right side of the fabric, and then I'm gonna lay it on the snap setter tool. I'm gonna to place the second layer of the snap setter tool followed by the female portion of the snap. And you'll want to make sure to use a hard surface for installing the snap so that it's fully secured. So I'll repeat the same process for the second female snap. Again, I'm going to lay that on the tool. Place the second layer of the tool in place, followed by the female portion of the snap. Okay, so now let's install the male snaps on the opposite end. So when installing the male snaps, this time the snap portion is going to be on the right side of the fabric like this, and then the cap is going to be on the wrong side if you have the cap. So I'm actually going to bring out that pattern piece again and remark on the wrong side of the fabric. 
and then I'm going to place my caps through the wrong side so that the snap will be on the right side. Okay, so now your cork or leather cuff is finished and let's get on to cutting out the fabric. Okay, now we're gonna make the scarf. So grab your two yard cut of fabric and fold it so that the long edges meet. So basically your salvage edges will be touching and you'll cut down the folded edge. So you'll end up with two pieces of fabric that are each 72 inches by 22 inches. If you'd like to use two different fabrics for your scarf, that's fine. You'll need two yards of each print and you'll end up being able to make two scarves if you'd like to. So each of my pieces, again, measures 72 inches by 22 inches, and I went ahead and placed them right sides together. So if you end up with a little bit of a shortage on your fabric or you need to adjust, adjust the measurements, because this is such a big piece of fabric, it's a little bit flexible, so if you need to cut less than 72 inches by 22 inches, that's completely fine. Okay, so. We're gonna place the fabrics right sides together and we're gonna sew both of the long edges using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, you'll continue sewing down the entire length of the fabric and you'll also repeat the same process with sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance on the remaining long edge. Okay, now go ahead and reach in and pull everything right side facing out. You should have one long tube of fabric. So go ahead and place the fabric so that the seams are at the top and the bottom. So here's my seam up here. Here's my seam down here. And I'm going to focus on laying this end flat. Okay, so I'm going to bring the other end so that it's directly on top of this edge. And actually, since I'm using two different fabrics, I want my fabrics to be sort of flipped. So when my scarf is on, you can see both of the fabrics equally. So I'm just gonna twist my fabrics, and then I'm gonna place them right sides together. So I'm gonna start aligning the seams. And then I'm going to continue pinning all the way around, raw edges aligned, except I just need to leave an opening for turning everything right side out when the scarf is finished. So when working with either a bag or the scarf, I like to align the seams first. And then I'm just going to use my fingers to finger press that seam open. And then I'm going to pin the rest of the way so that it's easier to ease the fabric and make sure it's evenly distributed. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna start pinning right sides together. flip this and grab the two remaining raw edges and that's this area right here. And I'm going to continue pinning and just leave an opening right here. Okay, so I'm going to take this back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew using a quarter of an inch seam allowance and make sure you leave your opening so that we can flip everything right sides together and then we'll close up that opening in the last step.
Okay, so I'm going to just keep pulling so that all of the wrong side goes through that opening. So this is what your scarf should look like. And let's address that opening here. So there's two ways to close up this opening, and it's a small opening as you can see. You can either slip stitch the opening by hand, or you can close it by machine. So first you're going to press the opening toward the inside by a quarter of an inch, just like we do when we're closing up an opening in the lining of a bag. And I have a video for slip stitching on my YouTube channel in case you're interested in closing your opening by, by hand. I'm just going to go ahead and close the opening by machine and I'm going to use an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, give your scarf a good press and you can do that by using your fingers to roll out the seams and then press the fabrics wrong sides together and then when you're finished go ahead and snap that cuff on. Alright, and you're all set. So you can actually add um, a cork or leather cuff to any infinity scarf. Um, I have this knit infinity scarf and I was thinking of adding a cuff to the knit scarf as well. So there's a few options as far as that. Um, I wanted to talk about also the fabric because I saw there some, were some questions while the video was playing. So I used a rayon fabric but you could use a whole myriad of fabrics. Um, a jersey knit would be okay. I've seen some people make these in velveteen, um, lots of different fabrics, um, a lawn, lots of different options for this, um, but this one is a rayon and I have linked to the fabric that I use um, in the description in case you're interested in finding out more about the cotton and steel rayons or there's some other rayons listed on that particular link that I've linked to as well. So I have a question for you, let me know in the comments. Um, do you wear scarves? Um, so either an infinity scarf, a warm scarf, um, like my knit scarf for winter or perhaps you like decorative scarves with some of your outfits So just let me know in the comments. Um, do you wear scarves? 